happy Easter, guys. I want to talk about the day that would have ended up to be my most embarrassing moment. It was in Ibadan, or your state. The governor at that time, not governor, military administrator during the military regime, he was a family friend. Colonel Ike Mwosu. In fact, we called him our uncle. So usually I go to him, or we go to him, my sister and I, then. We used to go to him when we feel <laughs> we need to be boxed up. So the security, the SSS, the ADC, all of them, the PA, the news. So each time we go there, it was always an expressway to his office. So there was this particular day around December period. I went, I decided to go see him. You know, Christmas around the corner. So when I got to the first security checkpoint, they, know, they knew me very well. They welcomed me, but there was a bad news waiting for me. They said, the governor says he's not seen anybody today, not even his mother. Wow. Wow. It was a big blow on me because I was determined to see him that day and it was very important for me. So, I persuaded, but they said there was nothing they could do. And truly, I could reason with them. That was instruction from the governor himself. So, I pretended to be returning back. There was another way I could bypass them and get to the next security point. So, I did just that because I was determined so when I got to the second security check, it, it was the same story. I said, okay, I pretended I was going back. There was yet another shortcut that could take me to the ADC's office. So I forged ahead. I was right in the ADC's office. The ADC welcomed me as usual, but he said the same thing. Well, maybe you have to book appointment for another day. I said, okay. I came out. Now, just one last hurdle to cross. I moved. I forged ahead because he had so many other people in his office. So he was actually distracted. Otherwise, he would have caught me. But I moved on. I went to the PA's office. Luckily for me, the PA was right in the governor's office with him. So, I moved in, in the reception, where the governor sees all those that are sitting and waiting for him. So, I was there sitting patiently, but my heart was pounding because I knew that I had flouted some orders. So, when I got in there, I met just one man. He was the only man that I met there. So I sat, I greeted him and I sat down. I was scared, but again, I was courageous. The governor has cited me through the uh, closed circuit. Wow. The next thing I saw was people lining up to his office. The security, the first security man, the second security man, and then the ADC. They lined up. When they moved in there and they saw me, they were shocked. But I told you, he said he's not seeing anybody today. I was dumbfounded. I was looking very stupid. And then they went right into his office. I could hear him screaming on top of his voice. I said, wow, I am, I am done for today. 
So now the governor won. That would have, like I said, that would have been my most embarrassing moment, and that would have been my last day to see this man. He now told the peer to call me. I went in, shivering. They were all standing, including the governor. He wasn't sitting. He was fuming, furious. The only thing that came out of his mind was, yes, what do you want? Imagine the person that I usually go to see at will. This time asking me like a total stranger, what do you want? At that point, I couldn't hold back my tears. Tears started dropping my eyes. I couldn't even open my mouth to utter a word. The only thing I did was to stretch forth my hand. I was holding a white plastic bag. It was the ADC that received it. And then opened it. Behold, it was a Christmas gift I bought for the governor. At this point, the people that wanted to embarrass me now ended up embarrassing themselves. It was a gift that I bought for him for Christmas. And you know why I was so desperate and determined to see him that very day? That gift I bought on credit. And I told the owner to come the following day for the money. So that was it. And I knew that by the time I present this gift to this man, there is no way I would not get something for Christmas. There was no way I would not get mass of money for Christmas. Now, you needed to see how they started apologizing to me. Little me, the governors, the ADC, all of them, they felt embarrassed. They felt really, really embarrassed. At the end of the day, he gave me some cool cash. So I was able to pay my debts. I was able to pay my debts. And this I learned from my mom. Some people are so that they feel that you have so much, you do not deserve to be given anything. The stupidity of some people. You see, all these rich people, they give on daily basis. They dash people on daily basis. Sometimes they need to be given something too. It makes them feel good. It makes them feel good. It's not all the time you'll be expecting and expecting. and expecting. You don't have to have too much to be able to give. So if you want to receive from the rich, try to give from your own little way. Don't always be the receiver. Try to be a giver sometimes. I would have ended up embarrassing myself that day if I had gone just for money. I learned this from my mom. My mom was a great giver, even though she didn't have. She was happy giving and when she gives, in fact, She's happier for it, as if she, she was the one that received. She was always giving, giving to people who ordinarily should be giving her. So we learned this from her. I like to give, but I don't give stupidly. I don't give for validation. I don't give so that people will like me. I give because you deserve it. It doesn't matter if you are higher than me or smaller. But what I see these days are people who feel because you have more than them, they shouldn't give you anything. I remember my housekeeper in Nigeria. She told me the birthday of all her children, including her own birthday. Of course, you know why she did that. For gifts. And I was given. On my own birthday, you know what they gave me? All the children, I think four children, including her, they signed just a card, a birthday card for me. I looked at it and I laughed. So this is what I deserve, a birthday card. 
assuming I gave them birthday cards during their birthday, it would be a different story. If you want to get from the rich, you to give your own little way, in your own little way. And you will get double in return. So I've just told you the trick to get from the rich. Favor or finance, whichever. That is the trick. Try to package something at least that they will appreciate. It doesn't matter if they can afford it. A gift is a gift. And they will appreciate that you even think of them. You understand what I'm saying? So this is just my little advice for you. Try to give. Don't be a receiver all the time. So what I'm saying, if I had not given that gift that day, you can imagine the embarrassment I would have gone through. You know what I'm talking about?